Final round action from the Travelers. Keegan Bradley having himself a week, and it comes in a place he knows well. From Vermont, raised in Massachusetts, here in Cromwell. Plenty to chew on, as it was birdies for breakfast all week long for Bradley. He was in your final pairing this week and earned his way into it. A one-stroke lead at 21 under. Had some records in sight as well. 27 under would be the lowest total score in PGA Tour history. 253 that belonged to Justin Thomas. And he was knocking down flag sticks early on. Got to 22 there at the par 4 third. Then at the par 3 11th. Again, a birdie. Gets to 25 under. A five-stroke lead coasting home. And still praising the putter. Bradley seeks an eight-footer at number 12 to get to 26. History was in his sights, but... He was just focused on the win. Just one bogey through 66 holes would proceed to bogey three of his next four. So history, poof, gone. But the win, still well within his grasp. Here at 18, exultation. Hugs from his caddy, his son, plenty of family members on hand here as Bradley again earns his way to the forefront of golf with a win at the Travelers, an elevated field, 23 under, good enough by three strokes as the New England native gets it done, his second win of the season, to go with a victory in Japan at the Zozo during the fall schedule. Welcome to those of you streaming on Paramount Plus. We have Trevor Immelman joining us now from 18 Tower. Trevor, we appreciate you stopping by and taking the time. A storybook Sunday here for Keegan Bradley at the Travelers. First word goes to you. Your emerging thought is what? Yeah, wasn't it an emotional win? Uh, this tournament has meant so much to him over the years. He's spoken about how it was the first PGA Tour event that he's attended as a child, as a 10-year-old. He came here with his family. and It was a tournament he always wanted to play and have an opportunity to win. He's come close before with the second in 2018, and now he finally gets across the line. And we could feel for that final hour just how tense it was, you know, the, the thoughts and emotions and feelings that he was fighting, knowing that he was on the doorstep of winning. Uh, and he sure did uh, make it interesting there toward the end, but great for him to get across the line. Certainly we saw a bit of all that is Keegan Bradley, the nerves, the franticness. There's a relatability almost in it all for your everyday hack, but uh, this was no hacking done mm -hmm. by Keegan Bradley this week at the Travelers. He was aim pointing at a mini golf course, as you guys outlined on the broadcast, as Wyndham <laughs> Clark won last week. The moment in the sun belongs to him this week. Bradley admittedly has had this tournament circled, as you said, the New England native Back at the forefront in some ways of the sport all at once here. For him to have found arguably the best form of his career at this point, at this place, I guess the simple way to ask it is how? Well, it just goes to show, you know, we've heard a number of players say over the years, and I felt it during my career, you're just one good swing away from figuring a little something out and being able to generate some momentum. And talking to him on the range earlier this week, he said, look, he felt like his game was kind of just hanging about. He didn't play well at all at the U.S. Open. He took the weekend off, spent some time with his family. Like you say, went to play putt-putt, and they were playing backyard hoops and all sorts of things, just trying to clear his mind. And then he came here to this event, had his coach in town, Darren May, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They spent a ton of time on the range, really just trying to find a little niche and, and, and drop into the zone of his swing. Ordinarily, he's such a great ball striker. And he put on an absolute clinic for the majority of the tournament. I mean, he was five under for today's round through the first 12 holes, and then all of a sudden things switched on 13, and, and then it got a little rocky toward uh, the end there. But uh, a brilliant win now. He's sixth PGA Tour win. He becomes the sixth player to have multiple wins this season. And who knows? You know, we're coming right down to the end of the regular season here. We've got the playoffs coming up, the Open Championship, the Ryder Cup, I'm sure, is on his radar now. So uh, an important few uh, months coming up for Keegan Bradley, and this win here might just be the jump start he needs. It was an entertaining performance and an entertaining week from Brad Bradley and others here in Cromwell. And I found it interesting to watch this week through the lens of last, sort of what the test was at LACC and then the birdies they could throw at this course. Yeah. Trevor, it always seems like Cromwell gives us something interesting something exciting, a great champion or a great finish. What is it about that course, about that plot that offers us these types of moments? 
Well, it's gettable. Look, it's one of the shortest courses on tour this week. It was playing right around 68, maybe 6,800 and change. And uh, with as far as these players hit the ball right now, if they aren't any uh, crazy conditions, high winds, stuff like that, they can just go all out offense and fire at every hole location they can. They had a little bit of rain during the week as well, which made the greens receptive. So they were just firing at it. And you look at how many times this week players were having opportunities with two, three holes to play to possibly break 60. Uh, it sure made it a lot of fun for us. And you're right, a, a complete change to uh, a U.S. Open style venue where we didn't have all that many players under par and 10 under winning uh, out at LACC here. When you got here, you knew you just had to keep your foot on the gas. And even with the stumbles at the end uh, for Bradley, look, he finished 23 under. So these guys were taking <laughs> it deep. Trevor, I want to do you a solid here. Before we let you go, I want to get you in front of the story. Our friends and in some cases, family members, if you could see this here over on the First Cut podcast, offering up their pre-tournament picks as they do each and every week. Download and subscribe today. And, and there you have it. Mark Immelman on the money. Trevor, I, I'm sure you're going to hear plenty about this, whether it's call or text tonight. But this sort of wisdom, this sort of foresight, is it is it something you've grown to expect? I couldn't see the graphic. Did he pick Keegan Bradley this week? He picked, he picked week? Keegan Bla Bradley. I, th I thought you had some return there, but uh, your brother picked Keegan. Oh, and I'm man. sure I'm you, never going to hear the end of this, If you Joe. check the text messages, there's probably already plenty there. Uh, Trevor, we appreciate you, as always, for stopping oh, I'm by. I'm never going to hear the end of it. Taking the time and another thrilling week on CBS. We appreciate you. Thank you. Great to join you. All right, here's a look at what was close to history. Keegan Bradley, 257. This season, the lowest winning score on tour. He had Justin Thomas, that win out in Hawaii in his sights. 27 under would have done it, but some speed wobbles down the stretch got him to 23 under. Plenty to get the job done this week in Cromwell.